Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable some hidden features that you can encounter in the build 25267, the latest build from the dev channel. What you need to know is that these features that I'm going to talk about are either features that were available in previous builds as well. You're going to see that there are some improvements to certain features that I'm going to show you how to enable in this video. So before starting the video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable two different hidden features, one of them being the ability to draw as an addition to the desktop stickers in the dev channel, and the other one being some cloud storage settings for the settings app in Windows 11. For the first feature, I'm going to have to also show you how to enable the stickers because I've already done a video about that, but I'm going to show you that also in this video so that you get a full image of what is going on. First of all, we're going to have to set up Vivetool. Just go ahead and download Vivetool from the link below in the article the first link, just download the latest version.zip. You can open the archive with File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse, and then locate System32 in this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then just scroll down to System32, select it, click on Select Folder, Extract, click on Continue four times, and Vive Tool should be set up on this computer. Now, after we set up Vive Tool, we're going to have to enable the stickers. To enable the desktop stickers, we're going to need to use RegEdit. So go ahead and open the search box, tap in here, RegEdit, right click on Registry Editor, and then click on one as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. Here in the registry editor, you're going to have to go into the following location. I'm going to leave this location in the article below in the video's description. And here in this device key, right click on it, new, and then key, name it stickers, press enter. And in the stickers key, right click on it, new, dr 32 bit value, name it enable stickers, double click on it, change the value data to one, and then click on OK. Now we have the desktop stickers enabled, but we will also enable the ability to draw. And for that, we're going to have to open up the CMD in the search box, click on Runners Administrator, and then on user account control, click on yes. Here, you're going to have to copy and paste in this command, run it, and if you receive the message successfully set feature configuration, it is recommended to restart your system for the changes to take effect. Now, after the restart, you're going to have to do some other settings, right click on the desktop, and then click on personalize, scroll down a bit, and then go into the background section. And here, from personalize your background, you're going to have to select picture, then select your picture that you want to use on your desktop, and then make sure that on choose a fit for your desktop image, it is selected on fill. You're going to see that this option will appear, choose stickers for your wallpaper, click on add stickers, and this new menu will appear. Once you click on it, you're going to be able to add certain stickers on your desktop. For example, I can add this one, I added it, and then I also have the option to draw. So basically, I can do this, I can select the color that I want to use, I can start drawing on my desktop. Of course, because I'm on a virtual machine, it doesn't really work as intended, but it's pretty cool that we can do that. And I think this is a cool little feature for some people that maybe will use it to show certain aspects on the desktop or something like that. I don't know, could be useful for some of you guys. So don't forget to also follow along the guide from the article below in the video's description because there you're going to have an in-depth view on how to enable the stickers, how to enable the hidden feature of drawing within the stickers section, and of course, how to make sure that stickers will work properly on your desktop. And now for the settings, cloud storage settings, we're going to have to open up the CMD in one, two different commands. Search for CMD, click on run administrator and then on user account control click on yes and paste in these commands vive tool slash enable slash id 407-33296 being the first command and this is the second command you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration for both of the commands and of course i remind you again all these commands and all the info will be in the article below in the video's description i'm just going to do a quick restart because that is recommended for the changes to take effect so now after the restart when you go into the settings app and then accounts you're going to notice that you have a new section that shows the amount of space used in the OneDrive account. And of course, you're going to have some links re regarding the upgrade of your storage if you somehow don't have any storage left and stuff like that. I think this is a pretty cool little addition in the settings app that you can use if you enable it using Vive Tool. So these are the features that I wanted to show you how to enable in this dev channel build. I hope you enjoyed this video. I remind you again, don't forget to check out the article below for more info. And yet again, a shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for discovering the IDs and some of the hidden features that we've talked about in this video. Go ahead and follow him on Twitter because he does a great job by finding these hidden features. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.